Howdy, and welcome to the Texas Bucket List, the show that celebrates everything there is to experience right here in the Lone Star State. You know, whenever you travel across Texas, you just never know what you're going to run into, something we've experienced a few times before. In fact, during our frequent travels to East Texas, there's one interesting entryway on Highway 79 that's always kindled our curiosity. So we decided to stop by and appreciate the art. Out in the woods of East Texas, between Carthage and DeBerry, sits an interesting artist studio simply known as Wild Donkey Art. I don't know if we can say that on TV. Oh, okay, uh, Wild Heine. <laughs> okay, Hilltop, excuse me, cut that too, brother. <laughs> Rick Cooper is the creative and kooky, sharp-dressed man. Quite ain't ZZ Tops, but it, it'll do. Behind this colorful depot dedicated to his craft, wood art. My art for 43 years has brought color and joy and uh, good vibes to people. Cooper and his collection of critters are sort of cooped up here in a good way. Despite not having a car or driver's license since the 80s, he's lived all over the country. Like Lil Gypsy going Arkansas, Tennessee, Kentucky, up into Pennsylvania, freaking Montana, up into uh, south of Anchorage, Alaska, uh, Colorado. I never live in Kansas, oh my God. And when I went through there, I was like, there ain't a tree nowhere for a hundred miles. Oh, let's hurry up and get out of here. Since the early 2000s, this roadside studio has been his home, a place to create. So is this your house as well as your yeah, place of business? Yeah, oh, a true good artist, man. You can't leave it. I get to Walmart and I start getting homesick. Getting a chance to see Rick's art is impressive. <laughs> but his work with power tools is not something you see often. When I pick up the chainsaw, I'll take over the whole show. I always said that you could get about 10 sassy looking hot mamas dancing in their bikinis over here, and then you could get Rick getting down on a big six-foot eagle, and within time, I'm gonna get most of that crowd over to me. I said within time. Every day, he makes masterpieces, carving, cutting, and chainsawing his visions into realities, some of them more peculiar than others. Architecture, uh, aeronautics, airplanes, helicopters. Here we got a, 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 this is all entirely done out of wood, a drag boat, an old 70 model drag boat. Since he was a boy, this is what the older man from the Ozarks has wanted to do. Use his hands to create the beauty of the world around us. They talk about uh, roadside artists as being outcast, like India, the under sector or something and god i've been accepted by every walk every kind of person that's wonderful when he was younger a near-death experience strangely enough involving a falling tree inspired him artistically and spiritually i was 19 years old and i got smashed uh to death i died for 31 minutes and, and I went out of body and it got dark all around my soul. I could see a torso, no legs, no arms, and I had a hand, a warm hand of, on the so shoulder of my soul showing me what I just did. And then I came in coughing up blood and the paramedics, 80 miles out of St. Louis, come out and got me. It was uh, like three days in the hospital, low blood in my bladder, tiny fracture in my hip, and they were gonna put me on the news. And I did a little Irish jig, said, no, I'm, I'm going home and do some more art. Here you got, of course, the shape of big old Texas. While wild animals, big chairs, and boots make up a hefty amount of his hodgepodge of hard work, he does dedicate his time to a higher power. What are your biggest loves in life? Is it your work? Is it your uh, faith? Or is it your pets? Um, a combination of all. Really faith, as I love God more than anything in life. And, uh, and I'm proud to say that. You see right here, see right here, I don't get by a day when I, I'll kiss a foot of one of my Jesus carvings. Right on, right on, you know. Passionate, peculiar, purposeful, and positive. 
are probably the perfect words to paint this purveyor of pine portrayals. Every day you wake up is a blessing and life is like that. I mean, the 70s, it feels to me like a couple weeks ago or, you know, a few years ago. So if you happen to be heading to the piney woods of East Texas and have a wild hair to see some wild art, seeing Rick work his magic is well worth the stop on the Texas bucket list. So you wanna do this all the way until you kick the bucket? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, zip that. Um, <laughs> good God. If you do the best you can with passion and you learn, like I'm, I'm always learning, uh, people will find their way to your door. There's no problem about that, man.